Bloodthirsty criminals are laying waste to Democrat-run cities. Murder, shooting, stabbings, rapes, suffering, mayhem, and despair. The reason Donald Trump was infamous for campaigning on the fear of crime is simple. When it comes to crime, swing voters have historically tended to lean Republican, often falling for the BS tough on crime rhetoric, rather than hearing lots of abstract plans about criminal justice reform, when right-wing candidates can effectively paint their opponent as soft on crime. This was a big reason why right-wing bad actors were able to weaponize activists chanting the defund the police slogan against Democrats, costing Democrats several toss-up elections in moderate districts that they should have won during the 2020 election and several important local races in 2021 as well. The weaponized slogan coincided with a year when violent crime was at significant highs, even if they were nowhere near what it were in the 1980s and 90s, and it made actual policing reform much more challenging to accomplish, since you couldn't talk about it without the slogan coming up. And bad-faith Republicans like Tim Scott constantly used it to stall reform negotiations. You're blaming Democrats I for the failure under, of police reform. I can't understand. Well, we, we should ask ourselves how we get here at all. Here's what we know. We have about a billion dollars in grant money that goes to police. When you start saying in order to receive those dollars, you must do A, B, and C. And if you don't do A, B, and C, you literally lose eligibility for the two major pots of money, the burn grants and the cop grants. When you tell local law enforcement agencies that you are ineligible for money, that's defunding the police. There's no way to spin that. You can spin it by saying... But this would you can, the let, Trump me, let, me, let me finish. Ron DeSantis, who paints himself as Mr. Law and Order, tough on crime, while attacking Democratic woke cities for crime, was finally busted and exposed. You can look, you know, in Florida, uh, our crime rate's at a 50-year low and our violent crime rate's down 30 uh, percent since I've been governor. So, so we're handling it strong. Governor, actually, statistically speaking, the CDC says that the firearm mortality rate is actually higher under your administration than it was under your predecessor's administration. But I do want to move on to the campaign the, and just the what mortality your, rate? No, no. The firearm mortality rate. Well, I don't. But I, was actually no, higher that, well, under your administration all, I mean, we, than your predecessors. We, that's according to the CDC. Let me because, move on to the campaign, Governor. Well, right, be, because of, well, because you had COVID. Donald Trump is hardly different than his Republican predecessors when it comes to talking about violent crime, using it to conjure up the bigoted nightmares of his base. In Democrat-run cities, Democrat-run states, and a Democrat-run federal government, the criminals have been given free reign more than ever before. There's never been a time like this. Our streets are riddled with needles and soaked with the blood of innocent victims. There is no longer respect for the law, and there certainly is no order. Our country is now a cesspool of crime. We have blood, death, and suffering on a scale once unthinkable because of the Democrat Party's effort to destroy and dismantle law enforcement all throughout America. Still, despite all of his bluster, it was his successor who actually did something about violent crime and made the rates drop significantly. President Biden is breaking the gridlock. Today, we say more than enough. It's time when it seems impossible to get anything done in Washington. We are doing something consequential. Aside from signing the first gun control legislation in over 30 years, the rates of homicide are down nearly 13% since last year, particularly in major cities, which is usually the ire of right-wing rhetoric. That's hardly a one-off trend either with murder rates dropping 6% between 2022 and 2023, rapidly dropping from record highs, the highest rate of decrease in nearly 60 years. If you want a party that's actually serious about dealing with crime, you should vote Democratic and make sure everyone you know does the same, so we can secure a Democratic trifecta on November 5th and save democracy. You're goddamn right. While Donald Trump was riding on King pedophile Jeffrey Epstein's plane to God knows where, Joe Biden was riding Amtrak home every night to see his wife and kids. Character matters. I am the law and order candidate. Who's he kidding? We learned that Donald Trump is a dumbass.
It's too late now. I remember everything.